I want a large bowl of chili, birch chili, yes, and then I want a order of hash browns. You want anything in them? Scattered, smothered, covered, chunk, diced, peppered, capped, and topped. All the way. All the way? All the way. Chili gravy? No, let's hold the chili. I'm having a bowl of chili, so let's hold the chili. And no no gravy. There's no there's no gravy on this list. And that's it. Waffle House hash browns. So today I ordered mine scattered, covered, chunk, diced, peppered, capped, and I held off on the top. So uh, smothered is gonna be the onions, covered is a slice of cheese, chunk is some uh, hickory smoked ham, diced is tomatoes, peppered is jalapenos, capped is mushrooms. So there's a lot of different ways that you can have your hash browns at Waffle House. So I went ahead and added I went ahead and ordered them today all the way so you can see exactly what your options were. So actually this is my first time to have them all the way and so we're going to see what that looks like uh, and hopefully it'll be awesome just as like I think it will be. So uh, and obviously the uh, Burt's Chili is another great option. I love their chili here. In fact, uh, probably a quarter of the time that I come and eat here I get a bowl of chili. So really good chili if you find yourself in a Waffle House. Take a bite of that chili. I think you uh, you just may reach out and thank me later. So after last week's video, a lot of people commented about how wonderful the Waffle House coffee is. Well, the one thing I've never had at Waffle House is their coffee. Because in my mind, two things that do not go together is food and coffee. And so I know I'm probably weird with that. I see a lot of people drinking coffee all the time while they're eating, but it's just two things that have never gone together in my mind. So let's test the Waffle House coffee and see what we think. It really is good. Not too strong. 9 out of 10. I think it's really good coffee. So add that to Burt's Chili as being good. <laughs>